Alrighty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, I'm laughing so hard, but as you get older, as a lady, friendships are harder to maintain. And I'm not even like, I'm trying so hard to keep my tears on this level so they don't come up here and ruin my makeup because just give it. <laughs> ah, I thought I was gonna cry. I'm not crying, I'm not crying, I'm bad bitch. I'm not gonna cry. I'll publicly announce to the world that yes, the girl has her own podcast show. What do we actually need to do as girls to actually make people happy in this life? Most girls don't like other girls. I said it. Yeah, take me to court. I do not care. Okay? <laughs> oh god, you have sense. Hey darlings, welcome to this video. If this is your first time on this channel, please do not make it your last by hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification because we have such a great time here on this channel. In the spirit of having a great time on this channel, I'm pretty sure that you can tell from the title that I am launching, well, I have already launched my own podcast show. I have to actually take a deep breath because, well, it's not my first social media venture but it's the first thing I have done that is a big deal since 2020 which is launching my actual YouTube channel which you're watching me on I don't know it just feels a little bit different in my mind because since 2020 I haven't really put in this much effort and thinking and energy into something that is mine it does mean a lot because if anyone told me that I would be able to juggle creating a podcast from start by myself juggling work juggling my personal life, juggling this actual YouTube channel and at the time I actually launched it was around my birthday so if anybody was going to do that I'd have said back to Senga but here we are and I am finally doing what has been on my mind since 2021 I have always been someone that well my friends say that I love to talk I don't believe what they say but I mean they say that I know how to engage people in conversations and whenever they're on the phone call with me or FaceTime call it's always very interesting and I must personally confess that whenever I create content like the ones I'm putting up on the screen right now when I created this actual content that we're giving podcast vibe, like every day, real life talks, it just felt more like me. And it was very easy for me to actually create this content and edit them. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe this is a sign. And this was the actual first sign that I saw. When I had this idea, that was in 2021, I'm like, ah, how am I going to combine it with my YouTube and this and that? And if I can say Jack Robinson, YouTube then declares that they're bringing podcasts to the actual platform. And I remember my friend, Evo, shout out to Evo. Evo was like, goodness, this is the actual sign. Like, you have no other excuse again. And I'm like, you know what? Oh, then, you know that part where God is actually hinting at you to do something, but you keep giving yourself self inflicted excuses why you should not do that? That was me. You think I will know better, but actually, I did not know better. And I was struggling with imposter syndrome because tell me why everybody thought I could do it, and I was the only one saying that. Ah, okay where's the time i do not have this i do not have that but the moment where i said okay let me actually sit and get this ball rolling tell me why everything started coming into place my microphone came bam camera came bam everything just started falling into place and i'm like no what okay okay i've heard i have actually learned my lesson now so it's 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 a big deal for me it might not be a big deal to you but this is something that like i said earlier god has put in my mind to do for a very long time and year in year out i will pray that okay god please give me something to do because i always felt like i needed to do more that i could do more and then the idea will not come to my remember from 2021 i had a friend where well, i have a friend osama he actually we actually had like proper discussions about this and i like you know what by new year i'll get it done 2022 the new year came year finished i did not get anything done so it has been something on my mind for that long a time and i really did not know why i was pushing it because imagine if i started that time imagine where we have been right now but i'm still grateful that i finally got up my ass and got the job done trust me it was not easy and i feel like i'm the best person to get this done because i am actually my target audience so the podcast is titled i don't know why they say this is but the podcast is titled discovering herself we have a separate channel on youtube here you can, you can stream on apple podcast Spotify, google all the platforms that they use to stream podcasts we are available there 
honestly speaking, looking back right now, it was stressful because I remember I would try to figure out how to share RSS feed to Apple Podcast, and it was like. <laughs> I called my friend Bayo and I'm like Bayo you know what at this point I'm going to write an email to Apple that their stuff is not big enough friend because it was so annoying to manipulate and it's my first time doing it and I didn't really want to tell most people so it won't be like okay you start something and you didn't finish it up ah you're a failure I didn't I didn't want all that crap and up until now not most people know about it and when my friends found out when my friends found out about it they're like are you even okay like how how can you have gone this far I didn't tell us anything that was happening. And I'm like, no, I just keep it to myself. And it's it's actually overwhelming. And I love the fact that I am actually my target audience because this way I'm talking to myself when I'm filming, when I'm recording, when I'm streaming. And I love the title because it's actually about me. Yeah, not that I'm vain like that, but I'm trying to think of anyway so the title came about when it was around march in the year 2023 that's if you're watching this maybe like 10 years to come amen <laughs> so it came around that time that time was a very very rough part of my life because i was sick like i was not mentally sick but i was is it healthily sick but i was biologically sick like body-wise sick and it was it was a lot was a lot of injections if you've seen the video where I talked about extensively what I went through, I'm, I'm going to leave it up here so that if you've not watched it, then go and check it out and you let you see what provokes me to actually discover myself. So I was going through a rough phase and I hit a very rough part of life that I never thought I would ever hit. Like I'm always not to be okay, cheerful, easy going, crackhead, goodness that likes to keep everybody cheerful. But I was a complete like I went from bam, I went down like to my downest down, and uh, it took God to get me back up because I was done. I remember that time I let you pack up my wing lights, everything. I was like, I'm not more creating content for anybody. Like I'm not good. Like I'm not even worth. Like I was so, 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 so down. Like rock bottom. And it just speaks to the fact that whenever the devil knows that you're about to go higher. He just makes you a complete mess that you will not go and reach that peak that God has in plan for you. Because why is it when I'm about to hit a particular point that I was not feeling my lowest? So after God saved me from that point, I started keeping this journal because I felt like I needed to know who I am in Christ Jesus and I needed to discover who I could be. Yeah, so that is why I said, okay, you know what? It just, it just sinks into it. It was just very, very smooth. The Discovering Herself podcast and it's targeted at young ladies like me. Yeah, like I said, and women essentially, generally. I mean, if you're a guy, you can also tag along. I mean, it covers you as well because I mean, you're a human being. It generally targeted like at the young ladies and women of my age range and higher. If you can relate to the content there about how you can navigate life, how you can be your best self, navigating friendships. Because to be very honest, as you get older as a lady, friendships are harder to maintain and i'm not even like it's harder because you have to be very, very intentional people have the actual lives people have careers and you can easily transfer work aggression to your friend trust me it happened in real life and it was and that is why i'm like okay you know what if i'm going through this phase i'm definitely sure that there is at least one lady out there, two girls out there that, that are trying to get this piece of their lives as well. Because, I mean, it's happening to Joe, it's happening to Jack. Do you get the similarities? And it's better if we come together and say that, okay, we all collectively need to help ourselves, push ourselves to be the best versions of ourselves that the world needs. And it was around that time that Barbie came out. That You know that ending part of Barbie where the lady was like, okay, as a woman, you need to be this, but you don't want it to be this. You want it to look good, but not look so good so that you don't threaten men and all this like that. So, I mean, like, how can you actually be a woman in this society and actually survive? Because there are a lot of things going on right now. Even today, as I'm recording this, I saw a story on Instagram on Dima and my story where there's this guy, I don't I don't know i think we're having a podcast as well i don't know see podcasts nowadays they are they're doing a lot but <laughs> moving on so the girl was talking about how it's hard for a young or married lady to get an accommodation space in lagos nigeria and how men how landlords basically caretakers tend to not give ladies that are single and unmarried places to live in because of their single 
it's a real life stuff that happens out there and people just comment a lot of things i'm like no what's just actually going through a lot because as a girl, you cannot afford to be lazy. You cannot afford to be a soft girl. A soft girl, like, are you a gold digger? If you are lazy, this is you are this one. But if you're working too hard, you said I should come down, I should come down for the guys so you don't push them away. What do we actually need to do as girls to actually make people happy in this life? Because even girls against girls, most girls don't like other girls. I said it. Yeah, take me to court. I do not care. I mean, there are times where me too, I have been guilty of that, but that's why we need to all admit that we actually have issues and we should learn how to resolve it because we cannot be fighting ourselves when the world is already against us. And it's 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 nice to know that I am ready for this assignment. I actually like recording, and it's like my own personal video diary. And at this moment that i'm recording this i have six episodes already i know i know and you're like goodness how can you have six and you're not let me land okay please so before okay when i decided to have this podcast was around july july 2023 and i told myself okay my birthday is november 2nd yeah so that was my deadline that i was like okay if i get it done for my birthday I'm good to go. So, can okay, imagine the pressure I put myself and I watched tons of videos of how to get a podcast started, everything. And there's one I watched that said to get higher, like proper ratings and reviews ASAP, ensure that you are launching your podcast with three episodes at once. So, can okay, imagine me, newbie? I do not, I'm a one woman too. I do not know Jack. I still had my life going and I had to record and edit three podcast episodes and get everything working perfectly well and launched and i was able to listen to them and i searched for them on apple and spotify and they were existing so once i got that done i'm like you know what i'm good but tell me why i'm waiting up until now to let you guys know that i have that thing done because i started having imposter syndrome like i said before because after i put it out there and I'm like, oh goodness, when I go to bed to let the world know that this is what you are owning, this is what you are owning, this is your product, this is your show. And I'm like, what if I start getting judged about it? Because I'm not going to lie, sometimes eh, when you have your own personal page and everything, you have that liberty to be yourself and you can be bitchy today, tomorrow you can be self righteous, tomorrow you can be career lady. But when you have a brand, you don't have that liberty to be switching your brand like that because it's affect the brand in the long run. So I didn't want my own personal business affecting the brand. Do you understand? So it was tough. And in my podcast, I'm going to be giving weekly updates, things that have happened like in my past week. And I'm going to be using my own life experiences, the ones I have, that is my short time I live on earth to try and educate somebody that is still upcoming or hasn't lived that experience yet. So you're going to be hearing a lot of biblical um, analogies and biblical recommendations and all of that stuff. So I don't want, okay, one second, I'm posting Bible stuff on my podcast account. And next to some of them see me at a lunch um, party or lunch something. And I'm having a drink and they're like, okay, you know what? Why is she giving double standard? Do you understand? So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not claiming to be perfect, so let me just do this. And however anyone wants to see it, that's their own personal problem. That's their own personal business. Okay. So that is why I took my sweet time. I took my time in November, December, January, and we are finally launching in the month of love. So I'm just going to beg you. That's the month of love. Please extend that love to me because I need it. All right. So that is why we are here, and I'm here to let you guys know that we're going to be officially available from the 1st of February, 2024. So it's, I'm not crying. I said I'm not crying. I'll actually not cry because, <sighs> what's that bit to say again? I can't even remember, but anyhow, that's, that's how far we've come. And it's so amazing that I was able to get this done. And, it just proves that when the Bible said that he will give you strength and he will help you, he was not happy. He was not joking about that because, I mean, look at me, I'm just a little girl in my little room, though. Not so little room, I must confess, but like a little girl in my corner and uh, trying to make what a better place. And God gave me the strength, gave me the idea, gave me the gave me the network. How can I forget the network? Because network in Nigeria can actually frustrate the daylight out of you. So. I am excited on my podcast. We are going to talk about things that relate to everyday life, self-improvement, 
positive living how to be authentic in what you do how to own your shit and not be sorry about it because it's your life it's your story and you are the main character so if you are down for having some main character kind of energy you are welcome to follow us on all our platform on tiktok on instagram on twitter and also subscribe to the channel on youtube and you can find us on all our podcast platforms we are on spotify we are on youtube podcast we're on apple google podcast are they still available i don't know i heard the recharging down but regardless that is what we are all about and it's just very cute because the actual color theme of the podcast is my favorite color and it's just so like everything was just aligning together and it's it's amazing and if you must know i designed the cover art myself every of those things if like looking back now how do i never run mad <laughs> because I don't have any checklist in point. Like I always feel like, oh, I have not done it for YouTube. I haven't done it for TikTok. I haven't put the email list, the link tree, everything. I had like I designed everything from scratch, and it just shows that indeed that God has put His creative spirit in each and every one of us. Because I did not employ anybody. Actually, the people were by I was contemplating employing somebody, but I was like, it's too early. So it's my vision, it's my project. I have to own it. And get the ball rolling and have a vision work it's like when everybody wants to come later on they can see what's already existing as according to my taste you get so that's what we have so far and i'm super excited and i can't wait to hear or to see rather your comments and all that you have to say concerning every episode i have been putting out little snakes here and there on my instagram story this one i put out today and someone was like, he wants to help. I think he kind of figured out, okay, this one has the audio. And I'm like, mm, I must not anything. I must not anything. I'm going to keep my mouth quiet. Do you get? So that is what we have been doing so far. So I'm sorry if you've been trying to reach me. And I have been unavailable. The girl has been running on caffeine for like past few months and trying to, trying to get herself hyped up that she can actually do what God has actually called her to do. And I'm down to any video or podcast suggestion. I'm new at this, guys. My own platform is video. I haven't done audio before. So I'm still learning all of it. So it's it's a process. And it's a different thing if I'm just doing podcasts. Because that way, I have less things to worry about. But I'm also covering video as well as audio. So it's like having two YouTube channels and a podcast running. And it's gonna be fine. I'm actually overrun by another. I, I can I can actually do I mean I finished from Bangkok University. What can I not do? <laughs> no shade, no shade though, but if you went to Bangkok, yeah, you can understand what I'm talking about. So so it's yeah, that's what we have right now and I'm so grateful to everyone that I informed that did not weigh me down. That no I don't think there's anyone I told that actually discouraged me and that is shocking because most people tend to project their fears onto other people and I didn't have that it just shows that I'm surrounded by amazing people and if you're one of those people don't worry when I blew I'm going for a trip yeah well going to just fly out somewhere and shake our asses on the yacht <laughs> but like that's 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 it it's just been a very very exciting journey for me yes, and i am so grateful to god so grateful to family members grateful to my friends <laughs> my friends that were on my head they were asking me you know, what's the update when are we launching some of them are basically asking when they're going to get invited on the show and i'm like can you guys be coming down i've never launched it to the world yet but i'm so happy that i feel like it's a button that's been lifted off my shoulders because right now can't break because it felt like each time I'm praying, okay, God, I feel like I need to do more. I don't know, like, what I need to do. And I'm hearing that same thing, and it's like, okay, anything but that. Like, I'm not doing that. And I feel like, yes, I'm, I'm a step. I don't know how to explain it, honestly. It just feels like right now, I just feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm not coming onto the platform to give I am perfect or I am great or I'm anything. It's going to be like a diary. We are going to be learning together, teaching ourselves, encouraging ourselves to be the best version that God created us to be. And honestly, I am excited about this journey. I'm pretty sure that everybody will enjoy this because it's not like your typical bougie bougie 
stuff we're gonna be just in like on facetime call like we are chatting and if you know me first now you know that's just gonna be a fun time around goodness because i'm not a dope person yeah so that is all about the podcast feel free to share it with your mom your sister your babe your crush your colleague your work bestie your cook your chef your cleaner i believe that ladies need to come together as a force to fight against everything that society has made us to believe that we cannot do and ladies are actually trying yeah i've not seen any lady that is not busting her ass day in day out to actually provide but do you guys know how much we cost you can actually calculate how much it takes to get a girl maintained at look lab and maintain on a daily basis you guys okay with us tomorrow because good i mean even if they're not the ones that ask for vegan do you guys know how much tampons cost imagine yourself buying tampons every single month do you think it's very easy for you so i feel like we are going through so much that to just go through the process alone and it can be very overwhelming so that is why i have said okay let us come together and build a community where we can all partake and contribute it's not my podcast i mean it's officially mine but it is our podcast show we own it we talk about things and i'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say after we have our instagram platforms there and i feel like i'm rambling i don't even know what i'm saying anymore i'm trying so hard to keep my tears all this level so they don't come up here i'm in my makeup because just give it <laughs> but regardless i'm i'm super happy and i'm grateful to god for strength for the ability to come out here and say because you think about there's many people that have things that they've worked on but it's one thing to actually pray something and that thing to let the world know that you have created something and they should come and enjoy it it's like building a product well i mean tech so i have to use tech yeah it's like building a product and then you know that it's working and it's good but for example put in the market space you're like i don't want to start judging that so that like, okay it's not working well i'll keep it to my back here that is exactly how i was feeling how i've been feeling this past few months but i'm not feeling like that yeah i'm going to let god use me to touch the souls of people that he needs to touch through me and honestly we are going to have a lot more fun on that podcast show because we're going to be just in okay honestly i have been rambling so in conclusion i just want to say thank you to everybody that has stood there for me yeah my work colleagues that knew about what i was doing and supported me and helped me to push for it regardless of whatever thing i was going through i was experiencing i love you guys so much and my close friends i do not take any of you for granted it's amazing because most not most people have kind of support that i've gotten so far and it was just very sad that you guys saw this a long time ago and I just had to catch up with the train that's really moving and i didn't sit earlier on and i'm just i'm happy now that i mean better late than never that i've come to that point and i'm so happy and grateful that i have people like you that will pick me up whenever i fall and i'm ready to see you guys <laughs> ah i thought i was gonna cry i'm not crying i'm not crying i'm bad bitch i'm not going to cry but basically, if you watch any of my conversational YouTube videos, trust me, it's going to be as interesting as that. And I know that because those content I put that like that, I give you podcast vibe. They got a lot of more interaction than my normal conventional sit down. And in case you're wondering what's going to happen to this YouTube channel, it's going to keep running. I'm pretty sure that this channel has its own purpose. Yeah, so I do want to mix the both of them together because one is targeting a different audience, and the one is targeting a different audience you understand and i don't want to do analytics and the start of this channel already so that is why i have a new one for the podcast show. and it makes a lot of sense and i just want to mention this yeah <laughs> for now i do not have a particular schedule that i'm following like by post by fire because i'm still trying to find my footing but i can guarantee you that i'm going to drop an episode whenever i get the chance to and the fact that I know how to talk, I'm actually talking that thing because I didn't know that I'm still recording the podcast. And also that the last one I recorded now, I spoke for one hour. Plus. I'm like, goodness, what are you even saying? I put that I used for one hour plus. And I'm like, I didn't used to be where I said that before, but now I know. So when you're listening to me, get your drink, get your mocktail, get your cocktail, whatever the you're doing, just when you're running, when you're driving, when you're your errands, when you're about to go to bed, because I can't have a very soothing ASMR. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh god, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>
What was that about? Well, basically, for those that have been curious to know how I'm like behind the scenes and how I'm like when the curtains are drawn back up and basically get to know more about me and what I'm all about and things that go on in my head because this head is an actual ecosystem of its own. So I just wanted to come out here and publicly announce to the world that yes, the girl has her own podcast show running and I'm so excited. I'm sure you're excited as well because you're like, hmm, what is the shot for size makeup? Let's see. Yeah, so right now, right now, I'm leaving all of our streaming platforms below in the description box. So go check it out. Show me some love. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have a nice time. I cannot wait to have you guys there. Every time I put out an episode, um, yeah, I have a podcast. I can't be one guy doing this. Like, I'm still very, very shy. But so if you see me in public, please, please take it gently because I've started to use to the fan base. You understand? I always remind myself that, okay, you know the way you see Jola and you're like, oh my god, that's Jola, yeah. You're like, oh, that's good, oh my god, that's good, and you're like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I can, yeah, I can send for you, yeah, I can have an autograph. <laughs> well, we're manifesting all those things. It's gonna happen someday, sometime, as long as I'm being authentic to myself and I'm allowing myself to grow into the person that God has created me to be. Her. So, yeah, that's it for this video. I'm happy that I did not cry. I was crying, but I did not cry. And yeah that's it for this video basically let me just stop from this i will not have a lot to edit <laughs> so i love you guys so much i love you guys so very much and let's head on to that channel and show some love on our social media accounts on tiktok and instagram and yeah bye guys